Well, President Obama is vowing the U.S. will do all it can to protect air travelers. Already in use is one high-tech machine that is also very controversial. It can see through clothing. Our Brian Todd actually tried it out. At Phoenix's Sky Harbor Airport, the newest weapon in the war on terror that can see through clothes carrying explosives. Already used on millions of passengers, these special x-rays can catch all kinds of contraband. Regular weapons, guns, knives, box cutters and the like, but also un unusual types of weapons, explosives, liquid explosives, uh, gels. Officials at Rapiscan, the manufacturer, say the machines can also detect pentarithritol tetranitrate, an explosive known as PETN, which the suspect in the Christmas Day incident was allegedly carrying. The machine's images will look like this, outlines of the body, not in detail, but weapons and other items do show up. This technology has been very controversial because previously it was much more invasive. I went through a so-called backscatter machine. I was advised that if I didn't want my private areas shown, I should put a metal plate in my pants. I step just in front of the machine, turn around. In just a few seconds, the monitor displays my humble contours. Now in this test, I'm playing the role of a would-be terrorist. I try to hide a plastic lipstick container in my vest pocket. Busted. I sneak a sports drink bottle. Busted again. How about wires in a sealed sandwich bag hidden in my sock? On the monitor, they show up on my ankle. But the machines have limitations. When I pour water into a sealed sandwich bag, place it inside my belt line, and in a sock, you can barely see it. But one company behind this technology says train screeners would detect it, and the Transportation Security Administration says they have other methods to detect liquids. When this came out, privacy advocates called it a virtual strip search, and they're not much more satisfied with the newer technology. Essentially, they're putting a digital fig leaf on the image. This protects the image from what the operator will see, but the machine itself can still record all the detail and store that information for use at a later point. A TSA official tells CNN there won't be any hard drives to store the images and says no one will have access to pictures without the so-called fig leaf on them. From one passenger tested on the older machines? I've been through it over in Europe. I didn't mind. Officials with Rapiscan and the Transportation Security Administration tell us the machines are only used if more than a metal detector is required, and passengers then get a choice between the machines and pat-downs. Brian Todd, CNN, Washington.